This is a way to make a threaded insert waterproof into a five gallon bucket. I'm using a three quarter by half inch threaded fitting. I have a three quarter inch paddle bit. It's a Bosch Daredevil. You'll need a heat source, your drill, and your five gallon bucket. There's also some Teflon tape to make sure it's waterproof. First you start with the drill in forward and you'll start your hole in forward just so the th threaded end on that paddle bit sits into the plastic. Then you'll flip your drill into reverse, force it down, add downward pressure until you make your hole. In reverse, doesn't chew up the sides of the bucket. Leaves you with a nice, even round hole with no jagged edges. You can see here, nice and smooth, no jagged edges. Perfect start. Once you have your hole done, this is where your heat source comes in. You'll take your torch and you'll heat the plastic to make it pliable to allow the threads to seat in there. You don't want to add direct heat. You don't want to burn a hole in your bucket. I see I'm holding it back and I'm using it, the torch just so that hole starts to open and the edges turn into a nice liquid plastic. And you'll take your fitting You'll add downward pressure as you're turning it in. Of course, I drop it and have to chase it down. And of course, my delay, I have to reheat it. But it's better to have it nice and pliable because it's going to mirror those threads when you thread it in. So as you're pushing down on your fitting, you're turning it. You're actually creating the threads. You don't want to go hard, you want to go nice and easy. Once it seats in, keep turning it and let the fitting thread itself in. You're not forcing it in. Give it a few minutes to cool off with that threading, with the fitting in there, so it actually conforms and makes those threads. Once it's cool enough, you can back that fitting out, letting the fitting do the work on the way out. I'm not pulling up on it, I'm just twisting it, letting it back itself out of the hole. That's creating those threads. Might have a little bit of extra you need to peel out, but that's fine. Just test your fitting one more time. Make sure it threads in there nice and easy, as it does. Back it out, and then we'll wrap it with some Teflon tape to make it waterproof. The way I learned to do it, if you hold your fitting and wrap away from you, your Teflon tape will always be wrapped in the correct direction. I can't count the number of times I've put it on backwards and had to redo it. So if you hold your fitting and roll away from you, it'll go on correctly. Now you seat your fitting again. Again, when you're threading it, you're not adding any downward pressure. Just let the threads do the work. I left it facing upright so I can fill it full of water and it won't drain out onto my floor. So let's add some water and see if it's waterproof. Done correctly, it should be. So we got a five gallon bucket with some water. We'll fill it up just above the fitting. There we go, the water is in. And as you can see so far, there's no water coming out, but we'll just double check. Verify the water's in the bucket, up to the fitting. There's some water in the fitting you can see. And along the sides, no water leaking out. Five minutes for a quick waterproof.